So we're going to look at um, repeating groups and how we can get the headers to line up. As you probably already discovered, if you're putting, putting repeating groups onto them, they're a bit of a pain from a responsive point of view and getting stuff to line up like headings, um, like we've got across the top here, headings with the values below is really hard. Um, and certainly when you start looking at responsive, getting larger and smaller, um, repeating groups react and respond very differently to groups and, and other elements. So I've got two approaches here that I've got on the screen. I've got a uh, repeating group here. You can see along the bottom here. If I just highlight it on the left hand side, it sits inside here. There's my repeating group, which is showing a list of uh, users. So it's just doing a search for users. Um, and then above it, I've got a bunch of labels. Um, now I've taken this from uh, a template by zero code. So can't, can't uh, take um, claim for the work here. Um, and the way that zero code have done it is you'll notice that inside the repeating group, everything's inside little mini groups to space it out. Um, and the above elements that are not inside the repeating group are also got the same widths in groups. So you can see there's an outer group here, which is, let's have a look, is 57, uh, sorry, no, 170 wide. And then if we look at the inner group uh, inside the repeating group, that's also 170 wide. And we've got a text box um, inside there that is 140 wide. And then this is 130 wide. Um, so, but the spacings is basically the same um, and is using the full same width, et cetera, et cetera. So that should, if you've got the spacings exactly the same and it's inside groups and you control the size of the groups to keep them the same, you should end up with something that looks um, like the, the, the label headings or the column headings are in line with the text below. So it's quite a lot of work, as you can see, um, to make that happen. Um, and it also gives you opportunity around responsive to be able to be able to collapse those groups as and when you, you collapse the screen. And it should collapse roughly at the same um, speed and size of the repeating group below. So let's just have a look at that in practice. So here we go. Uh, and you can see that the, the the various column headings are lined up. If I have data in here, but you can see on the email and on the name, it's lined up in the action stuff along the left hand side. So that that's one way to approach it is to uh, have them outside, but go through the trouble of creating groups um, and getting the spacing identical to that in the repeating group as well. So that's option one. Option two um, is to have the heading labels inside the repeating group. So let's just have a look at this. I've got my repeating group here. Um, and I've got, uh, let's find, um, we can find one of our headings. Can we find one of our headings? That's the question. Let's have a look. Uh, he says, trying to find them. They are here. I, I can guarantee they are inside here. Um, just trying to find where they are. Do, 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 do. Uh, so there's groups inside groups inside groups. So there's the text inside there, but where is the, there it is. Sorry about that. So there's the text address. So I've actually got in each one of these individual groups, so it's really the same thing as this, but it's just got the label inside the group. So if we go into each one, um, we'll find we'll find it. But the difference here is what I've done is the outer group I've set a conditional onto. And basically it's only visible if the current cell index is one. So, which is, will be the first row in your repeating group. So these labels will only appear in the first uh, row of the repeating group rather than every single row, which would normally occur. So that's a way, and obviously it's easier to line them up because they're kind of directly in line with them. Um, and we can have a look at that actually here. So you can see that the lame labels have appeared, but they're actually inside row one of the repeating group. And obviously that, that does line up, nicely lines up inside it. So th those are your two options. You can do the whole kind of building out a table, or sorry, group with the, with the labels above it and getting all the spacing right and the groups right, et cetera. Um, or you can have it inside the repeating group and just show it on row one. 
Now, obviously, this one will probably be better on responsive because, or it will be as good as the repeating group because it's inside the repeating group. So, you know, the repeating group will fully control it. Whereas here, you've got obviously the repeating group doing its own responsive thing, and then all the groups that sat above doing its own responsive thing. And what you're trying to do is get them to do the same thing at the same time. Whereas here, it's inside the same element. So it will do the same thing at the same time, pretty much. Um, so th those are your two options in terms of uh, headings and labels for repeating group. Hope that helps.